Hi everyone, welcome back to the WordStream YouTube channel. Today we're talking about Google Ads account recovery. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that your online advertising budget was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And you're not alone. In early April, we saw average daily budgets reduced across the board. But as of early May, we're starting to see strong signs of a rebound for the online advertising industry. Facebook hit a new record of 2.6 billion monthly users, and Google Ads users saw paid search conversions return to 89% of pre-COVID-19 levels. While we don't really know when the pandemic will end and how the economy will recover, we do know how to prepare your accounts to respond to the current state and how to ramp them back up when you're ready. Today, we're here to cover how to prioritize your Google Ads account for ROI, how to check in on your account foundation, how to prepare your Google Ads account for ramping back up, and how and when to start ramping up your account. Let's get started. Prioritize your optimizations for ROI today. First, let's talk about what we can control right now, the stability and cost efficiency of your Google Ads accounts in the current environment. While you're pulling back on spend right now, it's important to identify quick win optimizations so that you can deliver the most value from your current budget. Here's a checklist you can use as a guideline to optimize your results for ROI today. We've provided a link to all of the checklists you'll see in this video in the description below, so you can download them and keep them for reference as you're working through these steps yourself. Quick pro tip, while making changes to your account during this state, remember that labels are your friend. As long as you're using labels, you can filter and reference account components that you may have paused or significantly changed during this time. This will make your life so much easier when you get to ramping up your account again. More on this in a minute. Now that you've run through this checklist to make sure you're getting the most from your budget today, start to shift your focus to how you'll build things back up, which all starts with your foundation. Check in on your Google Ads foundation. Now, as you're looking to scale your account back up, it's important to build on your current foundation instead of starting completely fresh. That way, you can use your historical data during the ramp up period. The foundation of your Google Ads account includes account structure, conversion tracking, campaign settings. Let's talk about each of these components quickly. Account structure. Your account structure is the core component of your Google Ads foundation. We've already done a video that goes through all the nitty gritty of account structure, so let's focus on a few key highlights for now. First, check to make sure your account structure follows best practices. After you've checked for best practices, check for key performance indicators and what those tell you about your account structure. Once you've reviewed those indicators for change, you're ready to plan how you'll optimize your account structure for key metrics, like conversions. Conversion tracking. Okay, your account structure is the core of your Google Ads foundation, but conversion tracking is the most critical step in this process. It's simple. Your conversion tracking tells the algorithm what success looks like in your account. Even if you have the perfect account structure, you won't be able to reach your business goals without the right conversion tracking actions and settings. During this pullback period, it's a good time to audit your current conversion actions and consider updating them. To audit your conversion actions, you can use this template. After laying out all of your current conversion actions, you should ask yourself, are there any conversion actions currently being counted that aren't valuable? Do the current settings match the business value of that action? Do these settings reflect an appropriate attribution for a conversion? Are there any missing conversion events that should be tracked? When thinking through your conversion tracking, it's important to be methodical, so be careful with your changes to minimize risk in your account. Campaign settings. As your conversion tracking gives the algorithm the signals it needs, your campaign settings tell the algorithm what to do with those signals. So it's time to check in on your campaign level settings compared to best practices. Okay, now that we've reviewed what to do now and how to check in on your current foundation, it's time to prepare to ramp up. Prepare your Google Ads account for ramping back up. It's important to note that ramping spend back up isn't as simple as turning on a switch and increasing your daily budgets. It's going to take expectation setting with your key stakeholders, whether these are your clients or your boss. To help you prepare, Let's get into it. First, analyze current performance. Whether you're preparing to increase your spend or not, you should be reporting on where your Google Ads account stands today and how that's evolved during the pandemic. 
While there are endless metrics to review, I'd recommend prioritizing and grouping your core PPC metrics as follows. How has spend evolved? So your average daily spend. How are prospects engaging with your ads? So average click-through rate or CTR and average conversion rate or CBR. How have your costs evolved based on new trends? So average cost per click, CPC, and average cost per action or CPA. By grouping and comparing these KPIs over time, you can start telling the story of how your account has evolved. Second, understand consumer behavior. While shifts in performance are impacted by the change in the competitive landscape, it is most significantly impacted by the changes in consumer behavior. While some of these shifts in behavior are temporary during the pandemic, it's also possible that there are new norms that are developing for your customers. All right, now we're ready to talk about ramping up your Google Ads account. You'll notice it took a while for us to get here. That's because it's crucial to approach this phase carefully and methodically to maximize your return from your ad spend as you scale. Ramp up your Google Ads account. The first thing you need to do here is take the time to review any significant changes you've applied to your account during this period. Now is the time when labeling makes your review so much easier. Here's a checklist you can use for this. Now that you've revisited your changes, you should review whether they should be reverted or not. To decide, you should ask yourself two questions. First, was this change applied because your campaign is limited by budget? If so, you should consider reverting the change to allow for more freedom in ad delivery as your budgets increase. For example, you may want to re-enable a campaign that was performing to your CPA goals, but paused due to limitations in budget. Second, was this change implemented because it was an outlier in performance? If so, you should break these changes out based on the distance from your average KPI. For example, you may want to re-enable a keyword that had a 5% higher CPA than your account average, while keeping a keyword with a 40% higher CPA paused. Okay, at this stage, you've now done a lot of work for your Google Ads account recovery. You have optimized your foundation, analyzed performance, reverted appropriate changes. There are just a few more steps to scale your Google Ads account. One, understand the spend growth in your budget. For example, if your monthly budget is down to $10,000 and you're looking to grow it back to $50,000, your average daily spend will need to scale from 322 to 1,612. The level of scale you're planning will drive your next steps. Two, start by increasing your campaign's budget. Based on the growth of your budget and allocation across your account, you should map out where and how you'll increase your campaign level budgets. Spend more by adjusting your bids. Increasing your bids will increase your competitiveness. Prioritize and determine how to increase your bids by gauging your current impression share and your cost per conversion. Four, change keyword match types to spend in more auctions. It's likely that you focus your match types on exact or phrase matches while pulling back, but it's time to consider broad matches. By taking these steps and reverting appropriate changes, you'll begin to see Google accelerate your daily spend. This is great, but it's important to understand that you'll also run into some barriers during this ramp up period. Here are some that you can expect. What to expect during your ramp up period. Like I said earlier, communicating and setting clear expectations to your stakeholders is extremely important as you navigate this ramp up period, especially as your performance is disrupted. While setting expectations during this period, you should expect the learning period. Keep in mind that it'll take time for your account to learn and scale back up to optimal delivery at this new level of spend. We'll include a link to a guide about learning periods in the resources below. Closely monitor results. Track and report performance regularly as you work through this ramp up period. Evaluate search demand. As consumer and search trends evolve, there's a chance that your search demand may not return to previous levels, and it may be good to consider adding other channels to your marketing strategy. Follow these key steps to ramp up your Google Ads account. There's a lot to consider when preparing to ramp up your Google Ads account, and there's a lot to be done before jumping right into increasing your budgets. Here are the steps we just covered. One, optimize for now. Two, review your foundation. Three, analyze current performance and trends. Four, revisit your change history. And five, apply measures to increase your spend. If you wanna use these charts for reference during your account reviews, you can find links to download them in the description below. 
And because each of these steps could be its own video, we're going to include more links to resources on account structure, conversion tracking, learning periods, and more in the description below as well. Be sure to check those out and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.